Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 9 of Les Histoires de Clark. Today we're talking about Les Jours de la High School. It was here that many people in Clare would meet for the first time. From grade 7 all the way to grade 12, there would be a senior side and a junior side. A senior gym and a junior gym. La high school is where you would learn about so many amazing things. You would learn about physics, like how those hair bangs stood up in the air. You could learn about chemistry, like those hypercolor t-shirts. How did those shirts work? There was fun with math, there was biology, there was English and French. You also did social experiments at the high school, just to see how someone would react. You take a quarter or a cap of a pen and jam it in the water fountain. And when someone thirsty came by and took a drink of the water fountain, they get splashed in the face. It was so awesome. We would gauge their reaction and take down notes. The high school also taught you valuable social skills. C'était la fume au coin, a smoker's corner. That's right. You used to be able to smoke outside wherever you wanted, but eventually you had to go fume au coin. It was quite windy, so it was recommended you wore a far west jacket or maybe a barnet sweater. You also learned about economics, Castella Fimo Quan. Second cent la cigarette. Not bad price when players light. Eventually, they put a stop to that. You couldn't smoke on school grounds anymore. No more Fimo Quan or Bort la garbage can. Now you had to go smoke on the sidewalk or maybe at Ricardo's. I think nowadays to smoke at the high school, they put you on a barge and float you out to sea about 100 yards. We even learned about geography in high school. There used to be La Palette la Glace Mall right across to La Havre de Capitaine, a little ice cream place. And if you had a spare, you had just enough time to get there and back. But you had to cut through the woods, so you needed geography. You needed to know the lay of the land to get there. You take La Tit Rot, get to the ice cream, and get back just in time for your class de DPS. Back then, no one had cell phones. Cell phones was a thing, but not many people had them. But what we had was something better than that. We used to hand out notes. You'd pass notes back and forth. That's how we would text. Text via notes. C'est ta mad. Some students had learned the art of making paper fortune tellers. They were like paper crystal balls where you chose a number and a color and it would tell you the future or answer your question. But high school was also a time where people met their first love or got their first car or had their first cigarette. And for some more importantly, they started their own band. Clark had the best high school bands. Playback, Euphoria, High Voltage, Summer Moon. It's you know, awesome. But some people played a saxophone or a tuba or maybe a xylophone, so they couldn't really join a band. So you joined La Far Far. There's nothing like a rip bon xylophone solo. And for one thing, Claire has so many tuba players, c'est incroyable. And it's all because La Far Far at La High School. Some students got together and formed the Comité Tech, and they would host teen dances and events. They'd play the PA system and have all the lights set up. They would mostly just play Much Dance 92. Or the best part of the coming to tech that you could leave class early to go set something up. The coming to tech meeting. Set that awesome. They were also the ones responsible for setting up for la prom or for setting up for le pageant des princes or for setting up for talent shows and lip syncs. The high school also had a great canteen where a student would run the canteen. And there was also la CAF. The people who worked at the CAF were awesome. They always made great food. The problem was that everybody liked it so much that the lineup went on forever. Some, some people would just jump across the road, Alessi Ricardo's. Day pièce would slice the pizza, in pièce would can the Pepsi. C'est awesome. And on your way out, I stop at the sidewalk, 50 cents for a cigarette. They would do fundraising where you have to go sell chocolates door to door. Now, I wouldn't do that. I'd either give them to my mom to sell them at work or I'd eat them myself. Either way, les chocolates are tout vendus. The high school had the best teachers. They would either challenge your mind or challenge you to stay awake. Had fun with Matt with Donald Dusa, and he would always be cool, like Hannibal Smith on the A-Team. He always had a plan, and he never get aggravated, never get upset. Such an awesome. He was always cool as a cucumber, just teaching us how to have fun with Matt. We had CMC with Nemo Hanna, Canada dans le monde contemporaire. Monsieur Hanna would teach us about Canadian history, but every now and then he would take time to explain his new theory on how this was the year that the Habs were going to win the Stanley Cup. Nemo was the best. We had English class with Eleanor Jubas, and she would teach us the importance of grammar and also the difference between there, there, and there. We also read the book The K, a harrowing tale of adventure and survival. If I ever get stranded on an island, I'll have to remember what Timothy did to survive. In little school, you had read La Guerre des Turcs and maybe watched the movie in La Salle Audiovisuelle, but at the high school, things got picked up a notch. Now the books were Shane, The Chrysalids, Je t'attends Peggy's Cove, Julius Caesar, The Pygmalion, and in French class, we read Zone, a tale about cigarette smuggling in Quebec with Tarzan and Ciboulette. And many of these books had a movie. And every now and then, the teacher would roll in the TV VCR combo so you could watch the movie based on the book. Now, whenever they rolled in that bad boy, you knew you were going to have a great class. 
Of course, it was always a hard time hooking up that VCR TV combo. Is it channel 3? Is it channel 4? Le V-hole travail point, le tracking, try to get the remote to work. It was awesome. But then you got to watch a movie for a whole class, and you're just sit back and relax. For French class, I had Jocelyn Leblanc, and I always seemed to be learning le verbe faire. Now, she would talk about something about Mrs. D. Van de Tramp as some kind of cheat code, but I never understood that. But whenever I got something wrong, Justin would always give me some words of encouragement. Oh, my Eric, tu sais mieux que ça. And she was right. I would consult mon becherel, and I would find my mistake. And eventually I learned the verb passé. Justin est à la best. He had biology with Aldege, where he would teach you about cells and also about the stars. He always took the time to teach you little things and big things, small ideas and big ideas. He always said, we know nothing. That's all you know. You know nothing. But the fact that you know you know nothing means you know something. Aldej was awesome. Paul-Emil Camus would teach us English, would show us the Merchant of Venice and have quotes on the board. It made us think. He would ask trivia questions or maybe tell us an amazing tale of a travel he went on. He was like a modern day Tintin. Set that awesome. We had drafting with Gerald Camus, 2212. With a nickname like that, you'd think he was some kind of James Bond villain, but he was always cool and classy, just showing you how to do some drawing. T-square tight was his motto, and he had it right. He had the culinary arts with David Melancon, cooking class. Now, the last time someone showed me how to cook was Walk With Yan on CBC. I was more of a microwave gourmet kind of guy. If it takes me longer to cook it than to eat it, I'm not doing it. Dave should have had his own show. Dave et a awesome. There was even secret passageways at high school. There's a bathroom that if you get up top, you can remove one of the tiles and it reveals a secret passageway. You can crawl through there and crawl through the ceilings. I got as far as Kristen DeVoe's math class, where I started dropping paper and erasers and pencils. Now Kristen caught me, and in my defense, I was an idiot. And Kristen knew this, but she was super cool. She didn't get mad and just laughed at me. I put back the tile, escaped back through the tunnel, and that was it. The secret passageway. Set that mad. You had gym class with Jenny and Epi Alfred. If you forgot your jogging pants or your shorts, René and Alfred would just make you write all the rules to volleyball, so you'd spend the whole class doing that. That's why to this day, I'm not good at sports, but my penmanship is awesome, and I also know that a regulation volleyball court is 60 by 30. At the end of the year, you had the exams, and the best method to prepare for an exam is the cram method. That's right. Also, cheating is a strategy for winning, according to Ric Flair, and if you're not cheating, you're not trying. So you'd pass your exam of Sciences Humaine or whatever with a C minus. It's not great, but it's good enough. In the early 2000s, the whole high school went French, all French courses. If you wanted an English class, you had to go to Weymouth, St. Mary's Bay Academy. We should have known this was coming. The paper fortune teller was trying to tell us. A lot of students went there, and the high school was never the same.